This video on mental health is brought to you by The Mix. The Mix is the UK's only digital support service for young people that provides support, articles, community, chat rooms, helpline counselling and crisis text service. The Mix. So we're going to try and raise some money for them while we talk about the uh, mental health crisis that will be, well, I suppose, somewhat exacerbated by isolation considering that community is such an integral aspect of recovering from mental health issues. Here's just some information so you know that I'm not making this stuff up on the spot. I want you to respect me as a scientist. Uh, the Guardian said the other day that there's a YouGov poll commissioned by the Mental Health Foundation. They've done a couple of thousand people and uh, they said that 22% of adults in the UK have felt panicked since the coronavirus. Have, you, have I felt panicked? Have you felt panicked? I felt frightened, not full on panic. I think panic involves a bit of sweating and maybe really getting it going. Or maybe you could have a very still panic. Nonetheless, 20% of the relatively large sample group had felt it. 30% had felt afraid. I've definitely felt afraid. 62% anxious or worried. That's basically with us. I've definitely felt that. 29% unprepared. Well, except for lunatics. Who was prepared? And I, I'm talking very specifically about some lunatics in my friendship group that are like, <laughs> been worrying about this sort of thing for their whole lives and they're actually enjoying it. So being unprepared, I think, is in a sense an attribute. 10% have felt lonely, yeah. 18% have felt hopeless. The World Health Organization has advised people to avoid watching, reading, or listening to news that causes feelings of anxiety or distress. I wake up in the night and read about this thing, don't you? I have a quick look at the old phone. Oh no, this has happened now. What's going on in New Zealand? I mean, I've just become too into it. So the reason that I'm supporting the mix is because, uh, oh, look, check this out. Do Dr. Antonis Kasoulis, Director of Research and the Mental Health Foundation, said volunteering is one of the things that research shows improves our mental health and the mental health of others. We've got to find ways of remotely uh, volunteering. And isn't it one of the few heartening things about this whole setup has been the volunteer drive in the United Kingdom around the NHS gives you a real kicked isn't it when you recognize that actually people do care about community we do care about one another that all of our social conditioning our care for self and individualism is really just a veneer not an expression of our ultimate and ulterior state but a kind of permutation of who we really are brought on and induced by a society that continually requires us to live cellular lives i'm not talking about some mad conspiratorial thing though i'm just saying if you are continually trying to grow economies, that's what the GDP is, isn't it? You've got to grow, you have limitless growth, even though we are living in a limited and finite planet. If you continually need to generate profit, if you continually need to suck resources, you know, where, do you, where does Amazon's money come from? Where does Apple's money come from? It comes from people. Where does even the money that I earn come from? It comes from people. So. I'm not talking about centralised regulation, I'm talking about different social systems where we're more connected to the people that we interact with and live with, like the, the true civic society. Hannah Arendt talks about that we don't live in an interconnected way, we live out our private lives in public. We don't go, right, come on, how are we going to organise our town? It's nothing to do with you, just go to WH Smith's or Waitrose or TK Maxx or Target if you're in America or an Apple store, you buy what you've got to buy and you go home. Maybe you belong to some groups and martial arts groups or support groups for mental health or a bowling club or whatever, but them things is hobbies, man. We need integral civic interconnection. Now the Mix is a, a, a group, a charity, a digital support service for young people and I've done. A, uh, I've been checked them out before. I've like been there and that, and I know that some sort of they're they're legit. Is what I'm basically saying. Uh, they need help. They need to raise some money. Visit themix.org.uk if you find yourself able to donate. And I know you've got a lot of um, you know stuff taxing you at the moment. But if you do find yourself able to donate, that would be bloody brilliant. This is the sort of thing that the mix help with young people who are feeling the immediate effects of social isolation and service closures. They were on that at the mix. Uh, they've seen a 42% increase in the use of their services since coronavirus, so they need to fund that, they need to fund the people that are working there, manning their phones and chat rooms or whatever. Anxiety, I don't know if they do phones. Anxiety, money, relationships, OCD, sexual health, stress, self-harm, domestic abuse, all escalating issues. So look, the mix are a valuable resource and I would, I'll, I'll donate a bit, of course I bloody will. Five, they need half a million quid to allow them to support a million additional young people. If you can help, visit themix.org.uk.
UK and uh, there's a support page on there. I, speaking from personal experience, I've met some of the people that work there. They're real decent people. In a way, if anything else positive can come from this harrowing, peculiar, nervous, sad time we're living in, perhaps it's an opportunity to reevaluate and reprioritize. And I mean, yes, individually, but also socially, who is it we value? Very good to stand and give the NHS applause, but perhaps long term we can give them a dignified wage, the a right to work more reasonable times, employ more people and invest. To my earlier point about the commonly understood trope, it's absurd whether well, entertainers and people in finance earn so much while people who do valuable jobs that hold together the society are paid so little and it demonstrates what our values truly are. Perhaps this can be a time where people that do things like work at the mix or people that volunteer are heralded, supported, held, loved, valued, what are our values? This is perhaps one thing we're being invited to consider. I know personally I'm assessing and reassessing the things that I hold to be important. Well, help them if you can. And, uh, and also, if you are a young person who needs this service, check out the mix because they will help you. They're a decent operation. Cheers.